Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I haven't uploaded in the past few days. Sorry about that. I just had a lot of things going through my mind and I didn't have a lot of time to upload videos. So I'll try and get them out. Uh, last stream will be linked in the description. This is CZA the Champ and he's finally back. The most disrespectful moments in anime history 6. I gotta watch the other one as well because I've kind of skipped over. I think it was 4. But I'll go back and check it out. Make sure you're to watch the original career. See the champ. I'll link the video in the description and his channel. And uh, let's get into it. Cause God dog, bro. This is when it just went from zero to a hundred. Oh this boy, spoof of fish. Bro, starting to hit it with the combos. Hit put, good check, make it. It is finally time for the most disrespectful moments in anime history 6. The series that we observe some of the most outlandish, vile, and disgusting acts ever committed and to be seen by the human eye. And since yeah, this I is got... episode 6, why not put 6 moments instead of 4? Why not? Y'all be liking these long ass videos. I don't know why, but hey, I mean, if you like them, I guess I'll keep on doing them. But anyways, bro, uh, let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> uh... Chaputin Bleach Z Classroom Elite. What's that? I have not watched Cyberpunk Edge Edge Runner, so I'll probably cut that part out and not see it. Oh, okay. it's supposed to be up here. Uh, yeah, I probably won't see that. This probably the last two. I probably won't see. I'll see the first three, and I'll come back to watch those parts. I know it's weird, but whatever. I don't like to be spoiled all the time. Except for if, if it's these shows here, like the top four, then that's fine. Uh, hi, ladies and gentlemen. Our first moment. No, I don't. Little... You know what? Who cares? I'm going to watch it anyways. Grown Sasuke. Ah, yes. The time where we didn't know anything. The time that we thought that this man killed his entire clan for absolutely no reason at all. But anyways, as we know, Itachi and Kisame pulled up to the leaf. And they was not playing games, bro. Before they even got to Naruto, mm -hmm. they Itachi put Kakashi in the nastiest genjutsu. He was stabbing this nigga for 72 hours. Bro, yep. put this man on the stake. Absolutely torturing, bro. And he was like, oh my Kakashi, don't give up on me. We're just getting started. We still have 71 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds left. And this man Kakashi like, oh, nah, bro. You telling me it's only been one second? Oh, me. Oh, my God. So after he finished torturing this man for basically three days in the world of Tsukiyomi, mm -hmm. he pulls up on Naruto and he's like, hey, what's good, little nigga? Go on and uh, huh, take a step outside for us real quick. Yeah, that's right. What's even really the funny part is they had Naruto right here, and they didn't really care about him. He was he was care about Lil Bro, Lil Bro and Sasuke. That was the whole point, to be honest. If, if if you look at it, it's very funny. That is drooling from the mouth. It can't wait to gobble you up and swallow you. Yoki Sami, shut the f up. <laughs> this nigga pain really partnered me with this zesty ass shark. You're such a buzzkill, Itachi. Have some fun. So then Sasuke pulls up, and bro is absolutely livid. And this man Itachi like, oh wow, look who it is. If it is my adolescent pain in the ass little brother. <laughs> Looks like you not that much of a bitch than the last time I saw your little punk ass. So this man Sasuke just rushes this man with a Chidori. But bro slaps his shit to the Real side quick. and grabs his hand. And he's like, wow. <laughs> Is this all you got, little nigga? Mm -hmm. I really left your sorry ass alive for this. So bro shatters his wrist and looks at him and he says, I have no interest in you, little boy. So bro kicks this man across the entire hallway and he got this man slumped sitting in tornado drill position up against <laughs> the wall. But then Sasuke got up again and started talking. So he started running at man. But Itachi was like, little boy, if you don't sit the down, and bro started beating and Naruto's just watching it like, oh my god. 
That this fight was hilarious. It wasn't even a fight. It wasn't even fair, bro. Thank God I don't have any family. Even Jariah's like, damn. Could it be me? Jump me. Then Itachi picks this man up and starts choking him on the wall. He says, "A world famous meme." Weak as ever, I see. Looks like you still a little punk ass bitch. Allow me to remind you. Better not be no damn prank. Yo, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, God, why is everybody passed out right now? <laughs> the SpongeBob squeaks. Oh, God, no. Auntie? Uncle? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Them niggas ain't breathing. <laughs> Them niggas dead. <laughs> I just teleported to this big ass. No. Why am I shaking in my boots? Wait, wait. I don't even have my shoes. <laughs> Why are my toes out? Hello? Mom? Dad? Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> oh my Is god, Squidward. Hey. Hey, bro, what the f is going on? <laughs> Nigga, are you blind? <laughs> I obviously killed these niggas. What? What? But, but why? <laughs> oh, so little do you know, Sasuke. To save you the trouble, I'll start off with mother. That lazy, lousy bitch. What? Always making me do the chores. Folding the laundry, washing the dishes. Sasuke, do you know how fucking old that shit gets? And with no allowance. But, but, brother, those are just chores. Shut up. Father, this lazy clown of a bum. Just the other day, I caught him flirting with a red-haired woman from the Uzumaki clan. To say the least, little brother, he was cheating. <laughs> it, 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 impossible. No, Sasuke. Very possible. Now I shall make you watch them die for 24 hours. <laughs> I will say the commentary, the commentary is a little extra, but it's funny. Our next moment, killer beat dog walking Sasuke. <laughs> it's always Sasuke. Okay, bro, bro, I swear I didn't mean to put Sasuke getting dog twice in a row, bro. <laughs> this moment right here, you knew when I first started this series, mm -hmm. this was going to come eventually. Just think Sasuke needs help. Well, I mean, he doesn't need, well, Barto isn't real, but. He needed help most of those fights. Think about it. Just saying, he should could be had him here. If you remove all these other guys, he never stood a chance. But anyways, Sasuke and his new little ragtag crew are basically what I like to call them Orochimaru's illegitimate children. Decide to pull up on B. Now this man B just vibing, bro. He's just chilling, relaxing, enjoying his day, throwing some bars out and sh and then his ops just pull up to his front door. <laughs> Bruh, wait, what roll that back roll. Bruh, that's disrespectful. Hey boy, you the eight tails ginger kid, right? <laughs> Not just eight tails, Lord eight tails the fuck. What the fuck y'all niggas doing on my goddamn lawn, man? Simple, we're about to jump you. Oh, okay, okay, I get the situation. But before we do that though, y'all heard that new white spice? Oh that's wait, okay, see okay, I remember now. Wait, and let's see what's saying. Okay. You thought I was killing you? Damn oh my gosh. Oh, nobody ain't trying to hear that shit. Man, shut your hating ass up. You just mad because you ain't a munch. Oh my God, somebody hold me back. I'm about to suck the f out of this goofy ass nigga. Goofy? <laughs> let me see. Through my telescope, I see one, two, three, four. Four goofy ah niggas on my front door. Hey, bro, how about we just quit playing and jump this Dr. Seuss Horton his who rhyming ass nigga? You ain't got to tell me twice, cut. So they just start jumping B and everybody's just getting mollywhopped. 
Bro started twirling the sword off his neck. It was just whacking man's like a Beyblade. He packed this man Jugo up so fast, threw him like a piece of trash, then proceeded to just start dissing him. So then Sasuke <laughs> finally stepped up. He, was like, he thought he was gonna eat. Come on, run that fade then. So they start doing all this spinning and stuff. And then they end up stopping. And this man B pulls out a whole ass notepad and starts writing in the middle of a fight. Hey, bro. Okay, that, that's, that's hard. Oh, my bad, my boy. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that right now. <laughs> my bad, my boy. <laughs> I just had to write down this fire ass verse before I cook your ass. <laughs> boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. <laughs> No, 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 bro. This man took the time to start writing down a whole verse mid fight. People forget how disrespectful V is. I mean, that kind of, that kind of threw him over after the war. But if he was like that all throughout all of his enemies, man, that would've been hilarious. The straight up lack of respect is appalling. Imagine you fighting and, and he say, oh, my bad, bro. My mama calling. Can you hold real quick? Bro, stop the fade because he know he's still going to whoop his ass. <laughs> nah, bro. That is wild. That's just disrespectful as hell. So then this man starts using nine sword style and just starts running Sasuke's pocket. Bro, it's back. Wait, CJ, I think you can't count. You need a calculator, bro. Oh, no, nah, you, you good. For his life. Even Sasuke like, you got it. My shark, I can't keep up with this nigga. So bro started tossing him around, countered his Chidori, and it was like, fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> so then Sasuke gets bailed out for the first time in this fight. And I say first time because yep. this man got bailed out multiple times this fight. So then he started munching on Karin. So then they was like, all right, bro, there's only one way to beat this man. We just gonna have to jump him. So they started Still didn't him, work. And this man is still teeing off on him. Look at this movement diff. So they finally ended up landing a hit, so he dipped off for a minute. Bro was like, hmm, so persistent. Bum ass niggas, bro. We smoke that Zaza of this motherfucker. That Uchi hot pack be hit hard as a motherfucker. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but. So bro goes eight tails, blasts these niggas off of the mountain. Sasuke tries to hit him with a gig jutsu. Bro bypasses it and gives this man the nastiest clothes. Like, bro, that nigga's throat is gone. Shattered. Eviscerate. Just shattered all of his internal organs, bruh. Never stood a chance. That means we back. We bad. Oh, it's broken, and they like, oh my god, impossible. Sasuke's getting his pockets ran. Where the <laughs> f is the plot armor, nigga? So then B goes Never had into full on eight tails mode. Then he starts fighting Sue Getsu in this big ass kaiju battle. So bro's like, who the f you think you was Aquaman, nigga? I got JP Phibia, motherfucker. I got something for you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Hey, bro, what was that? I think B hit him with that yeet pill. Oh my goodness, bro. He absolutely blasted this man. He literally turned this man into nut. Pause. But look at him. Even so I mean. Like, oh my God, bro. We ran up on the wrong nigga. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all know how this fight ended. That plot armor kicked in for Sasuke and he started burning man with a Matarasu. But come on, bro. Yeah. We all know, bro. This man got whooped. If none of his crew was there, his ass would have been grass. Because the fact that this man took the time out of his day to write some bars down right in front of your face, then proceeded to whoop your ass? Nah, bro, you should have been six feet under. Yeah. Right up. And you know what? Think about it. I swear, if Naruto fans say Dragon Ball's mid, no, 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 no. Any of current Shonen fans, not all of them, but some of them, Oh, Dragon Ball, people come back to life. Did you see that BS? Sasuke was supposed to be dead. And he got bailed out like multiple times. Come on. Now that's that's BS. Dragon Ball literally made sense. There's you can you can get wish back. There's a difference. Now that's plot. That's definitely plot. Dragon Ball is not plot. Well, I mean, the Dragon Balls are a part of plot, but can't be mad at the game of how the rules work, so it's like getting mad at pulling uh, Exodia from your deck. You know. Uh, next up on the program, 
Grimjar running Ichigo's pocket. Oh boy. Well, I mean, since uh, Bleach is back, why not put some Bleach in here? But first of all, we need to acknowledge the fact that this man Grimjar is a absolute smoke demon. I mean, you can tell this is a crazy ass nigga just by his last name. Jacker hmm. Jack? I can't even pronounce that shit. That's how you know he a demon. Yep. Anyways, Waco Mundo's most notorious op ended up pulling up on Ichigo and Rukia. And dog wasn't wasting no time. Bro was like, all right, listen up. Uh, which one of y'all the strongest? Like, straight up, like, don't waste my time. So, mm -hmm. bro, straight up, fist is Rukia. Whoa, pause. Stomach. Ooh, she looking like, my stomach hurt. And Grim's out like, oh, uh, guess it ain't your weak ass. Go ahead and uh, move to the side for me, will you? Bruh. Ichigo tried to attack him, but bro stopped it with his wrist. And bro's like, bruh, if you don't get this fat ass butter knife <laughs> off of me. Hey, bro, for real though, uh, when you gonna use your Bankai? Huh? Like, for real, bro, come on now, transform. You bullshit. You wasting time. Now, come on now, chop chop before I put a hole in your ass like that bitch over there. So they started to get the scrapping, and this man Ichigo looked like he could just not keep up at all. Bro grabbed his sword, made um, swing, yep. and looked at him like, really? This your Bankai nigga? Man, if you don't get this sorry ass shit out of my face. Bro was for real throwing man's like a rag doll. Then he read this man's movement like a book, grabbed his sword mid swing again. Then he kicked the life out of bro, made him do a whole 360. And he sent man's flying, doing backflips and shit. This sound effects, bro. Like, then man's blitzed him and kicked the soul out of him. And Ichigo looking like, damn, maybe this soul reaper life ain't for me. Yeah. But no, no. You see, it just got worse from here. Mm -hmm. Now started walking him down, picked him up, and started laying the hands on him. Like, yo, it got so bad, it started playing this sad ass music in the background, and Ichigo was just thinking about his life. Man. Bro got slapped by another nigga. Yep. Rukia got fisted right in front of him. Man, I guess I'm just not him right now. Oh, you can a lot of people forget how the struggles each go had. Come on. Besides the fly arm he was given. Get him. God dog boy, that all you got? You was not big creepy. You sure you the protagonist? Cause that was a little too easy, my boy. Hey boy. Oh, this guy. Oh. Host, what's your blind black ass doing here? <laughs> hey bro, I was mad. I ain't gonna hold you, cuz. We gotta get back to base pronto. Alright then. Hey, hey, before I leave though, hey boy, you best remember my name, the Waco Mundo Demon. You best come back and get it back in blood, or else you a bitch. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, uh, next up on the program, Spopovich rocking Vidal's. <sighs> yeah, this. I, I'm bringing this one out, bro. Like I said earlier with the B one, this was just inevitable. Ladies and gentlemen, the most brutal beatdown in anime history. So as we know, it's the World Martial Arts Tournament. And this was Vidal unfair. Has to fight Spopovich. And yeah, <laughs> something was wrong with this shit from the jump. I mean, look at this nigga. Motherfucker look like a buff ass crackhead with an M tattooed on He's his head. a big head. thumb. So they started fighting, but Dell was teeing off on man. It looked like easy money at the beginning, but something was terribly wrong. Mm -hmm. Bro was not going down at all. And I love how Goku and Vegeta were the first people to notice something was wrong. Goku looked at this nigga like, yo, you seeing this shit right now? Yeah. That M tattoo on his forehead look kind of fire though. <laughs> I think I'll want one. So of course this man Gohan was oblivious. I was like, yeah, that's my girl, y'all. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't train. This BS. <laughs> you got this, boo. But then Goku said, yo, she should quit right now. Wait, dad, what you mean? Yeah, Goku, what the f you mean about that? Krillin, shut the f up. I'm talking to my son right now. Gohan, tell your girl to quit. Right now, or you gonna regret it, my boy. Look at her, she's getting her shit. Hey, girl, you best get the f up. I ain't letting no pussy ass bitch marry my son. Yeah, that's right. Tell her, Chi Chi. <laughs> so then Videl starts flying, right? So then Gohan started to get happy again, but then this man Goku said, hm, Stupid idiot. She should just fill out the fing ring. Dad, come on, bro. You've been gone for seven fing years and you already caused the problems and shit. Yep, and guess what? I'm still your daddy, bitch. Father knows <laughs> best. I mean, look at him, Gohan. He doesn't even look sane. So then Videl kicked this man's head so far, his head did a 180. But then bro got yeah. back up and fixed his head. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> this is when you should have <laughs> quit. God, no, bro. This is when it just went from zero to 100. 
Zero one thousand naturally. Then bro started hitting her with more combos. Then he broke her back. Then bro started beating her. No, bro, this is stupid. Bro picked her up again and said, And everybody in the crowd can't watch no more. Everybody like, hey, yo, just stop the fight, bro. Then he hit her with the knee. Oh, my God, bro. GG, GG, GG. Game over, nigga. Then this man, Gohan, just started getting mad, bro. <laughs> Goku was like, I, 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 don't do it. I told you to tell her to quit, but he didn't want to listen to me. Now you're going to have to watch it. <laughs> this man, terrible, bro, started stomping on her head. But then the other crackhead, Yamu, came in and said, Hey, Spokovich, quit playing with a little stupid ass and uh, just go ahead and kick her off the ring. Oh, man. Oh, oh it's over. Thank you, baby Jesus. So then Gohan came out, and this man Spokovich looked at him like, <laughs> How does it feel that your girl got her back blown out by me before you? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, next up, Ayana Koji body in class C. So this man, Ayana Koji. He got oh, this from the show. Up in here getting tortured. Bro pouring this cold ass water on her in this cold room, trying to give her hypothermia or something. And he throwing that shit. Lord, somebody please come and help this little girl. So they trying to get this man, Ayana Koji, to come out because he's the mastermind of his class. So mm. bro pulls up outside of the place and this big ass nigga. God yeah. Damn, what the f is they feeding you? Well, what are you doing at some random high school in Japan? Did exactly. Take your ass and I don't know where you want to go, the NBA or the NFL. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you better, choose, my nigga. You be play you better be doing that or throwing some layups. Linebacker or you want to play power forward? And his name is Albert? Oh, no, 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 don't make me do it, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Oh, I just had to make sure that uh, the background noise isn't picking up. If you hear that noise, it's just uh, some background noise. Oh, bro. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. Ain't no way in hell you the mastermind. This shit, I said that you can speak while you in the midst of my presence. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, no. That's right with all that jibber jabber shit. Shut the f up. Mm -hmm. So I got this text message that one of my tools from my toolbox has gone missing. Look, hold on. Tool? Huh? Yes, <laughs> tool the f You know, goodness and well, I've been using her since day one. I literally set her up to get jumped, watched her get her ass beat, then blackmailed her right after it. Hey, bro, that's kind of devious. That's messed up. Yes, I know, because I'm a devious ass nigga. All right, bro, you may be devious, but uh, you about to get jumped. <laughs> jumped? No. You see, you got it all wrong. Because you about to get jumped. My track. I personally am about to be all y'all asses with no effort. Please don't jump my baby. Come get your ass off me. <laughs> okay, I like you, boy. Hey, Sigurdman, take his turn. <laughs> that ain't patient. But I'm about to run your pocket. Oh, oh, just with Jesus, help me. <sighs> hey, hey, hey. Come on, boy. <laughs> we, uh, Albert, you best with that nigga ass, you D1 prospect. <sighs> I am a Koji clown. <laughs> oh, oh, he rocked him. Oh, not bad. He just beat Albert, a D1 prospect going to Alabama to play linebacker. Bruh. Be on next, Mrs. Boldcut or you, nigga. <laughs> I know Cabrera. I may get it. Go Now, it's just me and you, fuck nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come in for my fade. <laughs> Come on, bro. Don't tell me they hyped you up all this time just to be trash. Bitch ass nigga, stop playing with my name. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you like that? I got you pinned on a wall. If you don't stop talking with your hot ass breath, get your unhygienic ass off me. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh, with the wrong nigga. So yeah, this man Ryun just got humbled real quick. Bro took Top Mountain and just started beating him. But while bro was getting the sense beat out of him, he just started rambling about like just feelings and stuff. Bro was like, how do you feel, huh? How do you feel? And this man Ayana Koji looking at him like, uh, excuse me, but uh, the f are you talking about? Why should I show any emotion to get some weak ass trash like you? Let's go ahead and just shut your ass up. Damn. 
But nah, I and a Koji beat the soul out of this nigga. Beat him physically I gotta watch and this. mentally. Look at him after the fight. Bro, looking like a Debbie Downer. All his spirit is just gone. Bro got mm -hmm. his ass beat so bad, he was about to drop out. And then you got a girl right here like, eh, far with you. It was a man I used to know. That man gone, shorty. I'm a different man now. <laughs> you bitch ass nigga. You ain't worth it. Hey, <laughs> right, that's a core cool effect, CJ. I see you. Out of control, and he needs to be put down now. Jerome, calm down. I know. Jerome. Calling him. Him. Who is him? Jerome, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Him. Oh, 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 God, ma'am. Oh, hell no. Yes, that's right, Jerome. Him. And we don't even have to call him because he's already here. What? Hey, hey, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. Hey, yo, when did this big ass Decepticon ass get in here? <laughs> Decepticon. He's been here the whole time. He's just so powerful. You can't even sense his presence. Wait, what? Th that, that makes no sense. Jerome, can you process anything with all that chrome in your fucking dome? This is an anime, nigga. Nothing makes sense. Capiche? Adam, get your ass up. Tell him to go to work, you full metal nigga. Take Jerome with you. Just call me full nigga. <laughs> full metal nigga. <laughs> full metal oh, nigga. That's hilarious. Oh god, why did I sign up for this job? Stand back, Jerome. Oh, he is a full grown. Oh, what in the world? Oh. What? Shut your mouth, fugly. Oh, oh, I'm special. Please help me. Excuse me, but who the fuck are you? Pardon? You ugly three-eyed looking nigga. You better <laughs> shut the up before I put a motherfucking bullet in your mouth. Let's go. Please. Did I tell you not to speak? <laughs> so you're the full metal nigga, Adam Smasher. Damn right, boy. And you're a nobody. Do you <laughs> want to know why you're the main character of a prequel? Simple. Because you don't make it to the actual game. Huh. That's bullshit. <laughs> Okay, let's not waste any time. Just shut the fuck up and let me make you a pack. Five mm -hmm. minutes later. Oh, baby, you so fine. When we get back to the crib, I'm beating up them booty cheeks. Welcome back here, Romeo and Juliet. You star cross sons of bitches. Shakespeare made you a pack and so am I. Oh my god, y'all made it. Now get in the car so we can have our happy ending. Lord have mercy, making me go through all this shit for your dumb ass. <laughs> Foolish girl, trying to challenge me. You see, here's what I'm going to do to you. I am about to teabag the shit out of you and drag my metal chrome nuts across your fucking forehead. Nothing personal, but I have a reputation and a name that I have to keep in good standing. Adam, smash her. Ah. Oh, Martine has come out to play. Don't you want to end up like your little girly friend? Smash your man into a piece of meat. <laughs> Can't even show the body, or else I'll probably get a guideline strike. You big team too soon to be. <laughs> Damn. To play. Your metal cheeks are mine. Wait, you have a saying devastating? Damn right, little nigga. You think you special or some shit? I told you, you're just a prequel character. Look at you on the ground. Now get ready to bend over. Oh, hell no. Uh, <laughs> are you trying to hack me, bitch? Mm. I have two step authentication. <laughs> my server. Oh, God. Access man. denied. What in the Transformers? <laughs> Look at you. You're just scrap. I told you you wouldn't make the main game. Your sorry ass will just be remembered as a drink in the bar that nobody goes to. <laughs> at, at least my jack is a deal. 
DLC. Yeah, like anybody's gonna wear that shit. Eat a dick. Okay, that was really good. I, I, I didn't even know that kind of spoiled it, but um, I'm still gonna watch it at least. But uh, hope y'all guys enjoyed it. was a good laugh. Uh, some good moments to enjoy as well. Uh, make sure to check out his channel and his second channel just in case if you want to see other content he has. Other than that, take care, guys.